So today I had to do something that uh, every homesteader has to encounter at one point or another. Just wasn't ready for it. We had uh, been given a black Australorp rooster to mate with our black Australorp hen. And uh, uh, about five weeks ago, he started not being able to crow and just getting kind of lethargic and whatnot. So I got this buddy who lives down the street where I've got most of my chickens from. Actually, that's where I got that rooster from. And uh, he came over and told me to give him some Vetrix, which we did for a couple of weeks. Like, last few days, he's been... Uh, his combs flopped over and just not doing so good. So I went and got him some uh, Tylen 50. I was going to give it to him this evening. But when I got home today, I didn't see him jumping for his food like he usually does. Instead he was laying there, still breathing, but uh, pretty lifeless. I tried to pick him up and set him up to see if he would stand and he wouldn't so even though he was my my stud of a rooster i had to call him he was supposed to be mating with this little lady mavis she's a purdy ostelorp too currently sitting on eggs so she is broody which would have made a perfect match he was so chill and she's so chill. So we quarantined him uh, here in this little chicken tractor, an old dog house. I uh, came home from work today and he was just kind of laying right there in front of this sliding door that I got. And uh, I didn't want him to suffer anymore. It's just the first time I've ever had to do it. And uh, some good will come out of it. Let's go see what I'm talking about. So some of you might remember Farmer G, the Franken tree. Well, Rip, that rooster, that black Australorp rooster, is going to help this tree grow. So currently on this little uh, apple tree I have, five different varieties grafted onto it two of which came from uh Stephen ed home from skill call so my man lives on it's sad and it was hard but uh he's still he's still here